Hey, what's up guys? Uh, my name is Alex. You are probably watching this video because I shared it on uh, Facebook, Clash Royale Arena. I've been playing Clash Royale for, I don't know, like a month, month and a half. I quickly started to really, really like this game. Uh, this game has... Th this, you can come back to this game and keep playing. It's just, it doesn't get boring. Uh, there's ways to make it fun, new cards that come out, different strategies that people think up of, uh, endless possibilities of different, uh, uh, different gameplay and things like that. It's just, it never gets boring for me. It's always fun, very exciting to win. Uh, then there's tournaments, competitions, you meet people. Uh, on the other hand, which I do a lot of, is Pokemon. You know, Pokemon, you go catch them, you meet people. Uh, then it gets cold, you, you're kind of limited, you can't go outside and play. Uh, let's see what else, you know, like now they're not doing a lot of stuff. So I mainly a lot of my videos on here and a lot of my subscribers are for Pokemon Go videos, uh, which I will do when Gen 2 comes out. But right now I want to do some uh, Clash Royale stuff. So here, I'm going to show you guys a match from earlier and we're, then we're going to just do a few live matches. So I threw out a uh, Goblin Barrel just to see where he's uh, standing. And I, I saw that he doesn't have a zap. So as soon as I saw that he doesn't have a zap, I kind of realized that this game was going to be easy and I was going to win it. Uh, he was really good over here. We're playing uh, both of the towers. He kept like dropping them on each other's side. Here I got Skeleton Army running on the left and then I got the Musketeer on the right. So we're pretty much leveling down both of his towers fairly good. And he has just 200 point advantage on uh, my left one. Then I put down this prince just to scratch, scratch, distract this uh, minion, and I just I thought that that would be kind of cool. Uh, I don't want to take any damage, even though I already have 2133. So through that goblin barrel, took a lot of damage again. So there he goes. He does have a zap. I eventually find that out. Uh, this barbarian on its own, he was kind of weak, so I just threw down my uh, my Pekka. I threw out a, a, a laugh because. I got, like, I wasn't laughing at him, I was just having, uh, enjoying the game at this point, like win or lose. So he's kind of, he's playing a little bit impatiently and uh, that doesn't help in Clash Royale. So here I waited a little bit just to see if he's going to send something else out, he didn't. So I threw down uh, uh, two troops over there, I threw a P.E.K.K.A and a Skeleton, they got that. On the right side he has a very very nice push there. Um, I wasn't really worried because I have both of his towers down and we got 11 on the other one. I threw that down. At this point, the dude just gave up, I think, if I remember correctly. Oh, he did throw down some elite barbarians. And I was kind of just playing on the left side, and he even used his zap. I don't know why, because uh, they weren't going to get it on his own. And at this point, he just gave up. He stopped uh, playing, stopped doing anything. So we got that. Now, this match over here was against uh, Miss MP. The reason I, I want to show you this match is because I play this match flawlessly. At the end of the game, uh, this person just didn't touch my towers at all. So I start off with the Goblin Barrel. Uh, that's my way of trying to see if they have a, a zap or how quick they are on their game. Uh, everybody has a weak or a strong side and usually they either play the left side or the right side. So that's my way of sometimes checking it out. Sometimes I can also wait and not play any cards and see if they go first. So that's a combination of things. So here I throw down the Skelly Army even though he has a, a wizard behind. I knew that my Goblin Hut was going to take care of it, so I just didn't worry about it. Right here we're waiting just for our elixir to fill up. I'm going to make the first move. I figured out this little interesting, um, I don't know what it's called, but basically what you do is you put a, a Valkyrie right in front of the Prince, and what it does is it just pushes that Valkyrie forward. Uh, so then I was throw, able to throw the Goblin Barrel, and he com she comes in with a, uh, with a, a P.E.K.K.A which I just throw down a Musketeer and I let down the arrows and uh, my, uh, my towers take care of the rest, which wasn't a big deal because luckily what happened is the tower locked onto the baby dragon and we were able to target the P.E.K.K.A. So at this point, I just, I wasn't really hesitant. I start playing. I threw down Musketeer, threw out four pop shots on the tower. We got it down to 245. I know I have this game in the bag because it's already 37 seconds left. You just don't come back from that. And what's saving me is the fact that I'm playing this like a control deck. I got my Goblin Hut in the middle. Usually I put it in the back of the towers, but that depends on the gameplay. So she throws down another P.E.K.K.A. 
I'm not worried. I know she doesn't have any elixir left, so I'm just, uh, there you go. I threw down the P.E.K.K.A. Uh, I mean, I got the Musketeer going over the P.E.K.K.A. She throws down the uh, Fireball, not even getting the last little bit. So we're still at 23-52, 23-52. I throw the battles in the middle because I knew I was going to win. All right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you guys uh, my battle deck. Uh, this is a deck that I've been using for maybe a month and a half now, actually. This is, I call this the chipper deck. But the way I play this deck is I find out what is the weaker side of the person. And I put the goblin hut against that side. So let's say the person is right side dominant. What I do is I put it opposite of that. So I'll play it on his left tower, chipping away slowly at his tower. And then I just defend the left side. It works a lot. I mean, I have a whole bunch of footage. I'm still working on trying to uh, make this video presentable uh, because it does have some flaws, a lot of advantages to it, and a lot of like innovative ways to play it. But that's how I came up with this deck. Um, so I have a skeleton army. Uh, Goblin Hut, which is level 5 actually, um, it's, it's, it's gonna take me like 50 cards to level it up now. But Goblin Hut, very very important. And this is not gonna work with like a, a Furnace or a Tombstone or Barbarian Hut because it's just... Barbarian Hut is too much elixir. Uh, then we got a Valkyrie because Valkyrie is OP. Uh, it could take down a, a giant skeleton all by itself. It can take down Fire Wizards, you just put it behind like a skeleton or a mini pack or whatever they send. Uh, or a Prince. Arrows, because they take down a lot. They take down skeleton armies, they take down goblins, they take down uh, minions, which, because uh, I don't have any air. If you can tell in here, I don't have any air. So then we got a, a goblin barrel, which is my, uh, it's my siege card. Uh, we got a mini P.E.K.K.A. I had, I had uh, these goblins in here before, but as it started getting harder for me to counter cards because they're, they're just higher level and stronger, I put this guy in. But I did have uh, goblins, spear goblins for a while. So again, the name of this deck is called the Chipper deck. And I, I came up with it. I don't know if there's stuff all like this online, but... All right, this guy has an Ice Golem. So we threw down... We're going to play the Chipper. We're going to apply the Chipper over here. We're actually going to ram him a little bit. Okay, I'm not too worried about my left side right now. Because actually, uh, those two troops don't do a lot of damage. So right now I do know that he's very low on elixir. He just used up everything. Yep, you see? So here, we're gonna just attack his um, his elixir pump because I don't think he has anything. There we go, we're gonna take that out. Uh, at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put down another goblin hut because we're, we're probably recharging at the same time as far as elixir goes. So here, we should, we should have a, a better advantage at this point. Here, we're gonna send the prince on the left. We're gonna keep pressure on him because I know he doesn't have elixir here. There we go, that's a nice pop shot over there. We got it, we got his tower fairly, fairly low. I'm gonna get my musketeer ready. And as soon as my Valkyrie is ready, I'm gonna put that right over here. Come on, come on, Valkyrie. Come on, Valkyrie, gosh. All right, we can afford the damage on the left side there. We're gonna come in hot. He comes in with the Prince, which is actually not a smart play right now because the Prince is slow against the Goblin Barrel. And they, uh, he's playing that Tornado wrong. You gotta, you gotta take it to the side, buddy. There we go. We're, I see his, uh, I see his uh, Fire Spirits there, but we're still gonna play Skellies. Prince is just, Prince is very, very slow when it comes to uh, appropriate damage. So here, we're gonna put our Musketeer on the left because just to dissipate his, uh, uh, just the pressure on him a little bit. We're gonna put a Prince for Prince, but it's a very important to wait until my tower locks on something. Uh-oh, I kind of snoozed over there. Oh, dang, we snoozed. That was my, that tower, this game was mine. We kind of snoozed over there. Here, we're just gonna play something like this. All right, we're gonna wait here a little bit. We'll see what he does. He's probably gonna just go try to go for the tower, which is not very smart. We're gonna take some pressure off over here. I know he's very low on elixir here, and as you can tell, my uh, my chipper deck is doing a lot of damage on him. All right, I think we got this game. Yep, that's it. That was Dunzo for Shunzo. Ice spirits, not bad. You have nine ice spirits on the Valk. 
Here, let's go on in. Okay, this looks like we can do this one too because we had arrows. Okay, I see what he's doing there. We'll just throw a skeleton army for a skeleton army. All right, we do have the more da more damage already, and I think he's low on elixir. I highly doubt he has. So whatever card he throws, we're gonna. Okay, here, let's just put these guys in the back, and let's put this guys here. Okay, so that's just one uh, barbarian over there. So here we go. The chipper. Uh, theory is applying very well on the right side. You see, he, he's, he's dominant on the left. Because he's dominant on the left, he's going to play the left side. Um, what do we want to do? We, let's, uh, let's let the elixir fill up a little bit. All right, that was, uh, that was not a good play for him. Here, we'll just... Uh, yeah, he's not doing so hot. Here, I'm not going to let out my arrows. Uh, mainly because I know he has... Um, uh, what are they called? He has the uh, minion horde. And Minion Horde is horrible. If you throw down the arrows, they know what to play. He's not really too aggressive, so I'm not gonna put this guy in the middle. I'm gonna just put him right here. And then we're just gonna keep a, an aggressive stance on him. I think he gave up. No, no, he's still here. Yeah, this guy, I think I think it's safe to, safe to say that we got this guy. Yeah, he doesn't, he's not really having a good chance. And my musketeer actually caught that, uh, that hog rider as well. Here, we're just going to send down the point. We're going to keep pressure on him. We only need 34 seconds here to win. Uh, I'm, I'm still not going to use my arrows because who knows what this guy's going to... Here, we're going to wait till he goes this way. And then we're going to throw down the P.E.K.K.A. And then we're going to throw down the skeleton army. Yeah, there they are. There's those minions. Anyway, so that was a good match for us. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to uh, battle or anything like that, look me up on Facebook. Uh, if you want, if you can, join my clan. Uh, clan Chess Season is going to be coming up uh, in another five days. You can join uh, digital.alex. Here's the hashtag, uh, 20290Q9Q. And it'll be sweet to open the uh, chest up. I still haven't opened up uh, a, a chest in my clan because we just we usually keep going to chest eight or something like that. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next video and I hope you enjoyed it. Catch you later.